Yo, Philly 254 living life. Back at it. So, in my previous video, we did a small little discussion on Proton DB, the benefits of it. Um, if you haven't seen that, go ahead and click on click the link, check it out. You know, I'm gonna pop it at the top somewhere. But long story short, basically, this is a better version of Steam Verified. And there's also, which I neglected to show in my last video, there's also a way to show your entire Steam library in Proton DB. That way you don't have to look up each game that you already have in Steam or you've already purchased or whatnot. But real fast, if you like more videos about cloud gaming, Steam Deck, whatnot, and what have you, like and subscribe. Click the notification bell. You know how it is, man. Let's get to the video real quick. So again, I'm on my tablet, little Samsung tablet. So if you're on, if you go to Proton DB, which I will put the link in the in the description, and whatnot. If you go to Proton DB, you kind of scroll down a little bit. You see the little graph or whatnot. If you kind of click the little button here, the little right button, you'll see where it says "Load your library." Right, load a library. Click that. It's gonna it's gonna want your Steam ID or profile URL. You get that. You can get that profile URL. You can get the Steam ID real quick. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how you get Steam ID though. So I'm using the Steam app, which I'm already on it. But basically, you can go to Steam app. Let's go down towards that store right there, and click on account details. And you see where it says Philly Two Five Four's account. Just click right there. Copy that little tidbit of information right there. Start mine starts with the seven, or whatever. And I might I might blur that out. <laughs> I don't know. Put it in here. Well, let me paste. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Paste it in there. Click use. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now your personal your personal library has been loaded. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Let me go back. So this right here will show you things that have been officially verified by Steam. Now this is based off Steam, not Proton DB. But these are the games that are officially verified by Steam, right? That you may already have. And then these are the ones that are unofficial, but they're looking good. They're looking good, you know, that is. But, and this is ba most, most likely, this this is based on, um, when I say unofficially, unofficially looking good, it's based on the community saying, yeah, it may not be, you know, Steam may not say anything about it, but it's gotten some good reviews and sense of how well it works on ProtonDB. But you can see your entire Steam library if you click on explore and then you see, you'll see a few tags here I'm gonna click on library the library tag and that's your entire steam library and that kind of gives you an idea of how everything looks and if you look you don't even know know any games that may have easy anti-cheat which as we know is kind of the bane of, of a steam deck easy anti-cheat it doesn't mean that a game is guaranteed not to work online but if the game has not enabled proton compatibility Easy anti cheat may be a bit may be a bit of a problem. Um, I haven't tried Dragon Ball Fighter, so I couldn't tell you if it works or not. V Rise, I definitely tried that; it works. But yeah, Battle Lie, it works. I, I, you know, with uh, with Ark Survival, it works definitely. I've tried it; I played it. But yeah, this this will show your entire Steam library, and you can kind of get in the glance and click in whatever you want to. For example, Lost Ark, Lost Ark, is still a problem, as he says. It clearly says Bort. So you click on that and kind of shows you everyone who's tried to get it to work and what they've done, you know, process that they've tried. And of course gives also the results of it, which means does it open? Nope. <laughs> Installs, but does not open, which I cannot, can, I can second that. It definitely does not run. It won't even try to run. So, and this is someone who like they went a little further trying to get a few things to work. Um, the guy to install got to open, but it won't play apparently. So. You know it's it's pretty neat it's pretty neat so anyway this is just a quick video informing you guys all that if you like any more videos about the steam deck again like and subscribe do you do diligence cruise through the playlist and uh you know what if you like uh some of my merch click the red bubble link go, go check it out see what you want to get and we out